Welcome to Create with Christina. Sticking with the patriotic theme, I'm going to show you how to transform this sign from Dollar Tree into a super cute red, white, and blue hanging welcome sign. This wood star came from Family Dollar, but if you're lucky enough, you might find one at Dollar Tree. That rubber placemats from Dollar Tree as well in the kitchen section. And that red welcome decor piece was also from Dollar Tree. It was originally gold, but I used that spray paint to paint it red. Um, you could easily use chalk paint instead. Uh, might take a couple of coats. I thought the spray paint would be easier. Um, we're gonna use some paint, uh, blue paint, and these little wood half circles. Those came from Amazon. And then some Mod Podge. And then we're going to use a sanding block to sand this down. It had some kind of glitter letters and I wanted to uh, sand that off. Kind of makes it rough to help the paint and Mod Podge stick down. And we're going to trace the outline of that sign on the placemat and cut that to fit. You can see that kind of fits right into the, the sign there. Now I am using some white chalk paint and I'm painting over the sign. The placemat I'm using is a little bit opaque, so I didn't want the letters to show through. And I also want that top edge to be white as well. And then I just took those wood half circles and I'm using a ruler to kind of line those up evenly along the top edge. I'm use some hot glue to get those stuck down. And then I went over it again with a little more white paint again because that placemat you can kind of see through it. I didn't want the letters to show through. And I used that paint to go over that top edge and paint those half wood circles. And then once the paint is dry, you can go on with a good layer of Mod Podge and get that placemat stuck down. Um, you just kind of carefully start at the top edge and lay it down and smooth down and out with your hand as you go. Um, so I'm just kind of using a little hair dryer to dry that all down, get that stuck down good. Uh, using the sanding block on this wood star as well, it just had a couple little rough edges. And I'm taking some blue paint. Um, I had mixed this color. It was basically a blue acrylic with a black chalkboard paint and a white chalk paint just to get this color I wanted. Uh, I played around with the, the mixing to find a color that I liked. And so I was painting the star blue and then we're gonna paint two other of those half wood circles. We're painting those white. Those are gonna go at the bottom edge. And I'm just kind of tracing out where that star was going to fit onto the sign, use a good amount of hot glue, kind of get that stuck down, and then take those white half circles and I just glued those down on the, the end points. And then I'm just going to make a little bow here while I let a couple things dry, let that glue kind of settle on. You just take strips of ribbon and you just kind of lay them intermittently over each other. You can kind of clip the edges to look more like a little ribbon. You use just several strips, maybe, you know, a good 10, 12 little strips of ribbon. You kind of scrunch it together at the middle and you can take like a piece of twine or a pipe cleaner and just tie that real tight in the middle and kind of fray those edges out and you get a cute little bow and it's super easy. It doesn't really take a lot of technique because I'm still not great at making loop bows. <laughs> So I'm going to take this hot glue and I'm going to glue this little welcome decor piece on. I'm just kind of gluing at the seams there. Um, I took a little clip and uh, stuck that along the edge to kind of make sure it all sticks down pretty well and, and stays glued down tightly. I'm going to glue that bow along the top. And that's really pretty much it. It is a super cute welcome sign, a nice little transformation from what it was. It's completely different. You'd never even really know what it was before um, and what, you know, it's maybe about five, six dollars at most to make. It's super cute. I love it for this time of year. So definitely let me know what you think.